Welcome back to Iterate. Today, this is week 143, day one, beginning of light and dark season, as well as fire and earth season. Good, we got it right. Um, we have 20 minutes till you reset, so I'm gonna go and take the battle first, and then we'll look at the replays. Um, I do have the safe defense now, so that's something. Uh, but yeah, let's begin. I didn't get to test it out too much because... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, teams. So, AR bonus unit. Dagger for the 6 unit slot since I don't have Uller yet. Celef. Um, I didn't have time to get him all to S rank, so... Lucina for bigness from Celef. Peony. And Mila, this team has Grima, and Hinoka. Hinoka basically does the same thing as uh, she does for uh, her brother. Um, uh, name escapes me my mind at the moment. Uh, Raijin Togai, you know who it is. Uh, but yeah, um, Air again, Dagger with Defra Solo on this one. Actually, yeah, Ryoma. She does the same thing for Grima, she does for Ryoma. And we got the gold on this one, just in case we need gold power. Um, this same team as last week, exactly the same. I didn't even unlock it. Uh, didn't have time to get them to S rank, so. Uh, this is the same team as last week. Also didn't have time to go with the uh, get them uh, fully summoner supported. And this team I have run before, the Lilina with double life and death burst in Elgar. Although hmm, I should definitely not run wind sweep on offense or maybe I should. Who knows? We'll try it out. And that's it. So let's... Hope for something not terrible, because we don't have all the time in the world. And I say that and I get Destroyer of Worlds Lysitia. Lysitia hits very, very hard. Alright, so... We can stop this Ophelia from doing Ophelia things. And we can stop this Teander from doing Teander things. You have effective against armor and source so you will hurt very much um but you don't have effective against grima you will hit grima so hard that i just don't wanna i rather not um don't have a blue this week you can take on uh, this for but not on her although she doesn't have effective against armor units I mean a beast units so that's something but I don't have a way to well I guess I could be from here like break this break this shut you down there is no rally so I guess I could break this set up over here I, I can even set her up over here break this to I don't know can he take on a Lysitia that's or I could just try to one shot yeah I think this is the smartest thing try to one shot Sheeta and then just let Edelgar tank Shut down this elder again to try to bait Tiandra by breaking this. So break this, dance, try to one shot Sheeta. I should be able to one shot her. 48 speed. I think the speed is might be the problem. I only have 45 speed, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 52, 54, 55. I think I can hit up to 55 speed. Alright. 
59 so we're not shutting you but we can stop this lane i guess somehow maybe possibly all right so break this dance move up How do I get Edelgard to be behind? Because this needs to be broken, which leaves you here. Peony is right here, then she can dance from here. And then you can move up here and kill you. That leaves Peony here and Edelgar over here, unable to move any farther up. Mila could move out of the way, I guess. She could move over here. You can move here, which means I will be able to reposition Edelgar and put Edelgar in place. Maybe. Possibly. Very well. All right. Are you certain? I hope so. Ready. We must end this. All right. So we go like this. We weren't able to one shot, which is not fun. I bestow my blessing. You go here. Got you go here. Yes. You reposition her. Tread carefully. And she can move over here. And we'll see what happens. Alright, we can one shot Brandmon and heal. I have stealed well, my heal heart. a little bit. We get to heal a little more with Tiandra. Here comes Glimmer, a big zero. Cease this foolishness. 135, damn. Poor Lysithia. All right, good. Is that plus 22 res that we see right there, putting in the work. Cool. All right, now ether time. The glimmer of we gotta life. go after the ether. If you say so, it will be done. Good morning. Death's caress. We want to be very well. Yeah, we don't want to kill you. Not yet, at least. So we can oh. let Edelgard take on not. Are you certain? The choice is clear. You don't have any weird things that will. No, you're not gonna jump Tread in from. So. Okay, so he did jump in front. At least he doesn't die. No mercy. All right, meanwhile, team get the pots is on their way to get the pots. Got him. Yes. Forward. Like this. Very well. 
Maybe this way. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. We must end this. Just die. You can't stop me. All right. Now I just need to get the pots. Good morning. Not in Wings of Mercy range, the unfortunately. Of life. If you say so. So. Are you certain? We just move one space out of the way. Ready. The choice is clear. I bestow my blessing. And we get the ether. Tread carefully. And get the get the eld again. We shall share this dance. No mercy. Good morning. Very well. Maybe this way. Are you certain? All right. At least we got an easy match. With ten minutes to spare. Yeah, no. I don't want to get hit by La Cithia. Although Glimmer was... If it was been Mumbo, she would have done more damage. Luckily, she didn't have Mumbo. And the main reason why I needed to get Edgar over there was to provide the extra uh, 4 res. Alright, so let's take a look. Um... Yeah, so we managed to get a success and two failures, but you'll notice when we get there. So this is the, the team that I'm running this week. Of course, Hell is a bonus unit. I didn't merge my Hells though, but I did went with a plus HP one um, for better ball tower survivability. So yeah, I'm just running her with Mystic Boost and her base kit. Nothing special there. Peony, which is pretty much Dark Season certified now. She's just going to stay there. Activate my uh, dual hindrance. So she's running a uh, drive attack as a Mumbo, same as before. Sotis is running her offensive set with Life and Death 4, no follow-up, and Flashing Blade. So Flashing Blade just to go through guard effects. Lilina with her level, double life and death wind sweep set, uh, since uh, save tanks tend to be slow, so that's why we go with the wind sweep. Not deflect melee, although I just picked one of the knots I have at random, so I didn't know which one had what. So, but deflect melee it is for this week. Lilina running her Hector Killer set with. Triangle Adeb and Lance Breaker, Sturdy Blow. And Camilla just to be a general pain in the butt. Running Attack Speed Push and Attack Speed Solo. As for the enemy team, they have a Peony with Wings of Mercy and Aerobatics. Dual Peony with Glimmer as well. Dual Lane, plus one, plus five with Double Blade Sessions, uh, Speed Death Reigns and Escape Route. Reposition. Peony with just Wings of Mercy and nothing else. Air as a bonus unit, plus two with Smite, Fury, Attack Wrestling, Speed Tactics, and Flyer Guidance. So yeah, Fury, I guess, also to so chills. And Mila, plus one, plus five with Fortress Death Rest, Lightning Breath. Okay, that's interesting, I guess, for the mo more death, but could always give her at least defense plus three and that's extra death right there. Alright, so first turn's a setup turn. My team is not hyper oppressive, so you get time to set up. Yep, 
That's the trap. Or and put her into a escape route, but I think air heals her out of it. Oh no, air is not running. Um, wait, what is air running on her C skill? Oh, speed tactics. That's pretty good. All right, so switch formations. Might air and go hit Lilina. Lilina still hits pretty hard, so. Technically, that air would not have survived without a bonus stats this week, so. Oh, and begin the Wings of Mercy skip route. This is it. Yes. Oh, what she said. Take a Peony to activate dual skills. Jumbo brings mercy, take a Lilina. Think you can beat us? Think again. They went in pretty deep. No choice then. Let's go. And basically they just left air as a sacrificial pawn right there. Which would be good. If they only lost air, but as you can clearly see what's about to happen. Sotis, certified not the worst mythic in the game. It's true, Peony. And that's the two units they lose. Now for this two, uh, I was running a different kind of team, mostly for fun. This team loses 60 points, which is why I wouldn't run it as my main team. Uh, but yeah, it's just basically both of my healths, one running uh, Mystic Boost and the other one running Quick and Pulse for Instant Luna. Since we are running Hector, Armor March, Pivot, look at the defense. This is basically what it's for, just to meme on people. And triple knot, deflect missile, deflect melee, deflect magic, and Micaiah with a whopping 47 defense. 47 defense on the mo in the most frail of, of all the Micaiahs. And that's basically what this is, just a meme. 47 defense, 38 resistance, fortress death rest, brash assault. Glimmer. So yeah, they brought a peony, just Mumbo, Dual Leaf, Mela, plus one, 43 defense, 47 defense. So we know who wins the defense match. Air plus 10 plus 5, Aerobatics, okay. Grima plus 10 plus 10, Summoner supported with Pantage and Steady Posture. And finally, Dagger. Catapult level 8. And a Tactics Room level 8. So unfortunately for Mikaya, all that death is not going to help her against uh, Grima. So she is able to be taken out in one hit. Nod moves in. Then Hector gets all the way down there. So Nod was pretty much half dead, so finish her off. Use Ether to finish this knot off as well. That's two knots down. And then try to block him. So here goes Hector. 
Dagger does have no follow up, so his weapon didn't activate. And then Hell just goes in and traps Leaf. And she would have done a good job of it if not for Ball Tower right here. Perfectly weakening Hell to be on EV and take her out. Final knot. Now Hector with 70 defense has bonfire ready. Yeah, he just one shot stagger. And here, unfortunately for them, yeah, Grima just takes out hell. Grima has guard in her weapon, so. Hell couldn't even charge her uh, special, and Hector's weapon requires him to have more than one ally near him. That is probably gonna get removed when he gets his remix and refine. But yeah, they weren't able to get the last spot. And for this one, we still had the same team. I haven't actually seen it since uh, it was still under the. Uh, when I went to watch it, I hadn't uploaded, downloaded the patch, so... They do have Ur, plus one, plus three, Summoner supported, okay. Luna, instead of uh, Deadeye, and Blade Session Death Smoke, okay, pretty good. Peony, oh, same as me, Trap Attack, Wings. Bernie, plus five, plus three, with Hardy Bearing, Wings of Mercy, Drive Attack, okay, so this is a Wings of Mercy Beacon kind of team. Yep, there it is. All the Wings of Mercy in the world. Even Katria has them. Gale Force Katria, okay. And Air is just my bot. Alright, now that my team can reach down there, but even if they did, that's what happens when the Fortress activates, it just locks them in place. All right, and again, this is a smite bot into Wings of Mercy. Oh, they want to have the... Uh, able to Quatria. So, Uller just takes a knot. And here comes the Wings of Mercy. Um, did she need this? You're the best. I guess she needed to kill hell. Yeah, she didn't quad, she wasn't killing hell, I guess. And there's Bernie. Guide my arrow, and quad hell. Yeah, didn't even need to quad Hector. Dance a dancer and locked in Mikai. Perish. Still got to get the pots which are behind Mikai. There you come. Very good. Uh, Wings of Mercy. Yeah, Wings of Mercy into what? One, two dancers. Possible four dancers. Katria. 
Very well played. Although we are back on the main team, of course. Um, 30 points. I, I am not willing to lose 60 points, I'm sorry. Like, even if it's more fun to watch this team, this team loses 60 points. And it ain't happening. I am not spending that many points. I am not risking that many points, what I meant to say. Uh, but yeah. Um, the update is live, of course, as we already saw the... Um, Okay, as we already saw that I have the, uh, whatchamacallit, the thing, the fans. I believe the banner is also live. The pirate banner mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the pirate banner is up. But yeah, the update is live. Um, the weapon refiners, I have not looked at them yet. Uh, well, I'm I'm not looked at all of them yet. Um, I looked at um, uh, the two that I said I was well. Two out of the three, I fine. Let's just look at the ones that we have. I don't even have. I was looking. I don't have a five star Aries, so we won't be able to look at Aries. But we can look at Sanaki. Uh, who else? Maribel. Well, Maribel needs to actually learn her new weapon. So... Punishment staff. Calculates damage from staff like other weapons. So, raffle. If any initiates combat grants attack speed plus 4 during combat. After combat, if any attack inflicts triangle adapt on targets fall, so it still has the trilemma effect. Alright, and who else was it? Oh yeah, Levatine. Levatine. And I think I might even have a fin that is. Finn, where is Finn? Finn, okay. So, let's get Finn to learn his weapon, which is, should be just a Brave Lance again. Grand Staff Rest inflicts Death Rest minus 4 on unit, unit attacks twice, even if 4 initiates combat. So, it's basically like a uh, Ninja Yari. Yeah, it's basically Ninja Yari. Which is good because, like most uh, fin bells that you will see, always go with uh, lofty blossoms for the um, Swiss sparrow effect. So, giving him more speed is what people usually build him like. Um, but yeah, I like growth weapon refine. So let's actually take a look at the weapon refinery. So niffle Fro niffle frost flowers. Uh, her base effect used to be uh, an Altom effect, but now is grants attack plus three. Finish between three spaces of an ally grants attack rest plus five. So that's pretty easy to meet. Then during combat, boosts units attack by number of allies within three spaces times two, max of four. So if she's already meeting condition one, she automatically meets part of condition two. So just by having one ally. Um, within three spaces of her, of her she will autom automatically get plus seven attack and plus five rest and if you get two allies within uh, next to her she'll get plus nine attack and plus five rest just from her base weapon and then a start of combat is false hp is above 50 percent grants attack rest plus five so that's an extra attack rest plus five to unit during combat and also grants bonus to units attack during combat equal to highest attack bonus from among allies within two spaces. So I don't know why that one is specifically within two spaces when all of her other ones are within three spaces. But basically I think so she gets plus five plus four is nine plus another five is 14 and if 
say somebody within two spaces has um, plus six attack, so that's plus 21. That's without counting if she has a bonus on her of plus six as well, so that could be up to plus 27. And if her uh, bond skill is active, that could be plus 32 attack. So yeah, just basically Sanaki hits really, really hard. It's basically what it is. Then Maribel actual weapon is the refiner is a serve a serve turn you finish between two spaces of an ally grants attack plus C and cancel affinity. Two unit and allies within two spaces of unit. Okay. So first she gives them triangle adept and then she gives them cancel affinity to her own teammates. Uh, meaning that it negates uh, the enemy possibly having an advantage over you. So I use cancel affinity on Grima and anytime that a blue and in a colorless, not colorless mage, a mage with a raven, a raven adept a unit will hit her instead of having that plus 40 um, over her it gets turned with cancel affinity into an advantage for Grima. So that's basically what it is. Like it somehow Trilemma would put you at a disadvantage having cancel affinity negates the disadvantage on your own teammates. So it's pretty good refine all considering. Very unique. Then we have Leggy Arm, which has new new of course is uh, plus 50% of total bonuses to all her stats. But now it is, it still keeps that, but it's now 40% as opposed to 50%. So it got nerfed uh, a little bit. As 50% of total bonuses on foes. Two units attack death rest during raids. Grants bonus to units attack death rest during combat equal to 40% of bonuses. So yeah, it got nerfed. The base effect got nerfed because now it has a max of 10. Before it did not have a maximum. But her added effect is at start of combat if units HP is above 24%, grants attack speed rest plus 4 during combat and also neutralizes effect they're gonna for us. So at the cost at the cost of some stats, because it 50% with no cap is definitely better than 40% with a cap. So the max she can get out of that is 10 and then plus the 4 she gets from her weapon. So a maximum of 14. Which before, if the enemy had like uh, plus 6 to all stats, that was 24. So that was 12. 12 to all stats. So it is a nerf, but it also um counteracted a little bit but the most important thing is that she gets no follow-up in her weapon and no follow-up on flyers is great just because no they don't have access to it unfortunately uh ryoma will still be better than her on the fact that he gets damage reduction and that he also has no follow-up but she doesn't have access to damage reduction and she has to run this encounter on her a slot so she'll play very differently from Ryoma. Finn gets the loyalty spear and it seems to be a serve combat if unit's HP is above 25% inflicts attack speed and death minus 4 and 4 during combat and also neutralizes bonuses to foes attack and defense from skills like 4 or 5 value during combat. So he gets a um, lol skill that minuses three stats but only neutralizes two stats that's weird i don't know why they didn't include the they didn't just go all out and give him the attack speed defense uh cancellation i mean it's meant to be a fast unit nowadays well it's with the refinder he got a lofty spear so that puts his speed up to 39 uh inflicts minus four speed on them so that's basically plus four speed for him beating him 39 40 41 42 43 so 43 defense 
I mean, for three speed, that's pretty good. Uh, and the lol effect is definitely not a bad idea, not a, not a bad trade off. So, yeah. So, yeah, Finn um, very much can be run like the same way he's been run, just as a hyper offensive cavalry unit. Uh, however, because he has uh, the lol on his weapon, he can also run um, a trace skill, so he can run uh, to give him Kanto. Kanto, that makes him so, yeah, because he has his B slot open, since he doesn't have to run a lol there, that means that he can run uh, near trace, uh, I guess, speed, speed death near trace, what you would want in order to do more attack and guarantee quads and be able to counter out. So yeah, his best set will definitely be near trace and possibly uh, either Swiss Sparrow 3 or Deathblow 4, depending on how you want to go at it. And as I said, I, I somehow don't have an Ares at 5 stars. Um, I mean, I have an Eldegan, but I haven't given him a uh, Dark Missile team. And who was the other unit? I also don't possibly have. Um, no, that's everybody. We looked at everybody except Eldegan and Ares because we don't have an Ares. How many flower? Yeah, I don't know. Fine. Will, will a five star in Ares just so we can look at his weapon? All right. We are able to learn his weapon at the very least. We won't be able to learn the refine, but. Did I just five star the wrong one? I five star the wrong one. I can't believe. Wait, no, I didn't. He just disappears because he became a level five. All right, there. That's almost scared me for a minute. Cause I was, I almost wasted twenty thousand feathers for no reason whatsoever. But at least we can be finally look at all of the units so we can be thorough all right so his weapon refine is so his base weapon uh yeah he gives his base weapon uh the same access which trigger and gets the minus two after combat now it's if phone issues combat or if false hp is above 75 percent at start of combat, grants attack defense to unit, uh, attack defense plus five to unit during combat, and deals same damage when special triggers during combat. If force HP is uh, less than 75%, deals seven damage when special triggers before combat. Um, hold on. It's a little redundant. So if one issue is combat, or its force HP is above 75%, at the start of combat, grants attack and defense plus five to unit during combat, and deals seven damage from special drills triggers during combat. Okay, so that's seven true damage, plus five attack and defense, and then uh, either on initiation with a above seventy five percent or uh, when he gets attack, and then. Plus seven damage from special trigger. If force HP is greater than seventy five percent, deals seven damage when special triggers before combat. See, that's okay. So that's like if you want to run an AOE set. So if you want to run an AOE set, uh, you can. He basically does the seven damage uh, on top of the AOE damage, and then. Once he's in combat, um, 
he probably will not get the seven damage. He will probably not be able to get the first effect because of the AOE damage doing over, possibly putting the four under seventy five percent. So yeah, that does basically is a really weird thing. Is just I guess if you want to run him with AOEs, you can, but he will not. It will make it a lot harder for him to get the attack defense plus five and a seven through damage just because. He'll probably be initiated in a fall under 75%. But if you want to run him like the same way you've been running him, like enemy phase, then you can. And he'll have 7 extra true damage plus 5 attack. Um, yeah, it's a little weird that they gave him the par for the an AoE. But if you run the AoE set, you probably will not get the full effect of the weapon. And if you run in enemy phase, you will also not get the full effect of the weapon because both effects don't really play with each other since AoE is all about bringing your enemy, uh, the opponent's damage, the opponent's HP as slow as possible for combat. And then he cannot run like bonfire, which is basically his bread and butter enemy phase bonfire. So I don't know, I, I I have questions about how useful this is. It's a really weird refine. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, we looked at the defenses. Guess I didn't see how you guys did on day one, so. So we got in first place, Matt. With his plus two Amelia, sorry, stands bench for fighter. A near save, okay, that's pretty cool. Very nice build for your Amelia. Then we have Ran, who's still saving for other. Gabs, Logan, Yakiomi, Kako, ECLA, Promise, Dark Luster, Neo Swordsman, Oron. Ghostin, Michael, Brave Blitz, Diego, Dogs, Alan, Lamres, Amethyst, I guess she's back from her uh, hiatus, Alphonse, Silver, Brandy, and our friend Bean. All right, and that is it. So hopefully we get a good uh, light week this week. Uh, nothing crazy, but... Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.